<laughs> I think I started farming when I was 17 and I haven't really done anything else. So, you know, there's an opportunities every day. You get up and it's a new day. I said I was raised on a farm. I had no intention of living on a farm and then I fell in love with a farmer and then I stayed home to help a little. And so after 45 years here, we are. Yeah, Stephen and Sharon have a really neat place here, and, and they definitely do care about productivity of the land and also preserving and protecting it for future generations of their family. It's kind of a juggling act. We have to generate income, so we grow crops on the best ground, and places that are marginal, uh, we're looking at some CRP. We were interested in something that was a little more wildlife friendly. Steve likes to bird hunt, and uh, I like the flowers. Conservation reserve programs are really geared towards taking your ground and doing what's best with it. So some of our ground is best for corn and so soybeans and some is not. But the farm's been in the family since 1839. So our grandchildren are the seventh generation. So this is another way to leave them a legacy, whether it's wildlife or just conserving the soil. CRP practices play a lot of different roles. They have a lot of row crop production here, which they do a lot of no-till practices, help conserving soil and soil health. And then also they've taken out a lot of area with buffer strips uh, adjoining either timber to crop ground or just crop ground to crop ground, taking out either unproductive areas or just setting aside areas for wildlife use, whether it be pollinators and monarchs or even the enhancement of quail opportunities here on the property. When you have somebody that is a resource like your private lands conservationist. It's just basically taking advantage of another tool that you can use for your farm operation. which They can help you do and accomplish what you want to do by utilizing the programs that they're familiar with. So we feel like we're doing things responsibly and sustainably for the environment and for our families and for the future. I mean, a farm that's been in the family for eight you know, since 1839 has a tremendous legacy. It's really kind of a tremendous opportunity. It, you know, it's just a lifestyle that's not for everybody, but we enjoy it. You know, it has opportunities. You have some privacy, you know, and it, it's enjoyable. You can hear the quail call in the morning and, you know, we plant sunflowers to try to bring doves in. We'll see them come in for a drink of water. And so, uh, you know, your, your objective is to pay for your ground and, and enjoy nature. For us, it's kind of a win-win situation.